Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I want to talk about products that I've either accidentally hit pan on or accidentally panned completely, like without realizing that I was almost like done with the product. <laughs> I have a fairly sizable makeup collection, we'll put it like that, and this doesn't happen that often. But when it does, I'm always surprised and I'll just put it that way, I'm always surprised. Like I'm shocked when I accidentally like hit pan on a product or when I use something up without really realizing how close I was to using it because of the size of my collection. So it just shows you like which products I'm really reaching for and what products I'm reaching for but not like thinking about reaching for, you know, if that, if that made sense. So I have five makeup products here and one hair care product. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this kind of different panning video that I, could I talk? Blah. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this kind of different panning video idea and I hope if you have any like to, you would subscribe and hit the little bell icon even though it doesn't really send notifications out. But if you subscribe, you will expect new videos every single Monday through Friday, and for the month of December, I am trying to put up a video or live stream every day of the month. Okay, so let's jump into the makeup products first. The first product that I was kind of really surprised that I actually hit pan on is a contour palette that I'm planning on actually panning next year. I want to include this in a panning project. So I pulled it back out because I hadn't used it in a while. And so I wanted to just try the shades out just to see how they worked on my skin tone because I feel like I'm a little bit lighter than I was when I first got this palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm no longer buying from Kat Von D, but I do want to use up and pan the products that I have from her brand. I think really all I have is an eyeliner, this, and maybe one. Oh, I have the eyeshadow palette, the 10 year anniversary one, and then I have a quad. But I do want to include this in my 2019 year long project pan. So that's going to be coming up the first week of January. So I just pulled this out just to kind of get used to the shades again and see how they worked on me. And I managed to hit pan on this light shade right here. Like, I had no idea. When I hit pan, I was shocked. I was like, whoa, there's pan. I didn't really want to do this because I kind of wanted to pan the whole thing, like, in a year. So, ugh. so I'll be going into that project with a little bit of pan in this shade already. The next product that I had pan on is also a face powder of sorts, and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I have it right here. I talked about this, and I think it was my December makeup basket, maybe the month before, but I had mentioned how I had hit pan on the product, and I didn't want to depot it because I didn't want to break it. I depotted it successfully, finally, because I've... I went through so much trouble trying to figure out how to depot this stupid powder, but I love it and I just hate the packaging. So I depotted it and I depotted it when I had just a little bit of pan and now I've got a lot of pan in there. So I feel like I could probably use up this powder by the end of January because I do use this almost every day, but I was shocked to see that pan there because this is the lighter shade. I tend to go for shade 004, which is the one right here. I don't have pan on this one yet. This is shade 001, so it's more of like a translucent kind of powder. It does look a little light on me, but it works really well when I have more of like a darker foundation that I'm trying to like match to me. So I've been reaching for this one a little bit more than 004, but I think it's also because foundations are not matching me as well now that I'm really, really pale <laughs> and we're in the middle of winter. So I feel like I'm, this is the palest that I'll be. <laughs> the next product that I just used up because I loved it so much and I didn't even realize I was almost out of it until I was like trying to pour it out of the bottle. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade 030 Sand Beige. I love this foundation. I, when I got this, I'm pretty sure I used this almost every day until it was about halfway gone. And then I put it to the side and tried to use other foundations and I kept pulling this one back out time and time and time again. So this is actually a new one that I just purchased. My empty one is in my empties basket, but <laughs> so what happened was I ran out right before Black Friday and Ulta was having a Catrice sale. All Catrice was buy two, get one free. So I have three of them now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm actually a little upset that I didn't try another shade. Like, I feel like I should have tried 020 instead of 030, but I picked up three of 030 because it was buy two, get one free. And these are already affordable as it is. <laughs> so now I've got plenty, but this was the first foundation where, like, I ran out of it and immediately went and bought a new one. Like, for the most part, when I run out of foundation, I'll look at my foundation drawer, I'll go through and be like, what's similar? What can I use instead? I don't need to buy it right away. This one I immediately bought again because I needed it. 
<sighs> the next product that I actually totally ran out of without realizing it happened this morning and I need to go out and buy another one because I, I need this in my collection. This is actually the white mixer from LA Girl. So it's their pro coverage high definition foundation and just the shade white. I use this constantly constantly even if a shade is just a little bit off this does not affect the formula of the foundation now i feel like the issues people have with a lot of white mixers is that they can tend to alter how a foundation performs this one doesn't i can mix this in with a, a wide variety of foundations with like lighter coverage full coverage bb creams like anything and it just lightens it up a little bit and oh I would really recommend everyone have a good like lightening foundation and a good like darkening drops or a darkening foundation that has your good undertones because that way you can just customize any foundation you come across especially when it comes to drugstore foundations that's where i struggle the most with finding a really good shade but i also use this with higher end foundations but i was actually using this to lighten the hd catrice foundation this morning just because felt like I was, I was looking a little bit off today um and I was trying to get this out of the bottle and I'm out like I only had enough for like a little bit and I'm totally out so this I bought at CVS I am probably going to stop by the CVS by my job today and just pick up another one because I really like this one on a side note Catrice does have some good lightening and darkening drops in their line so you don't have to spend a lot of money for a good white mixer or for a good darkening mixer these are the two that I really like and they're both drugstore the last makeup product that I totally ran out of, and I was actually really considering getting a full size, but he's coming out with another bundle of nudes, so I feel like I'm just gonna buy that instead. And this is one of the little mini nudes from Jeffree Star. This is his Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. And I feel like this is just such a great, just a little bit deeper nude for my complexion. It was amazing. It's the most comfortable formula. It looks so good. I'm not wearing it today because I literally like this is dried out because I've used it so much. I think I have enough to do a little swatch. Yeah. I've like I can see like I've scraped the bottle in this but this is what the shade looks like and it's just a really nice just like I said like a little bit of a deeper nude. I really considered getting a full size of this one because out of all the minis and all, all blah 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 blah. And out of all the nudes that I've tried out, my favorites have been this one and the one that I'm actually wearing today. This is from the Fenty line and this is the shade Unbutton. Yep, Unbutton. So these have been my two favorite nude shades recently. And I was really considering getting another one of these, but like I said, he is coming out with volume two of his nude bundle and I love all the mini bundles. So I'm probably just gonna pick that one up. And if I go through that and I still like this one better, I might get a full size of this one because going through a full or going through of mini these are some good sized minis i will say like they lasted me a long time i there was just a point where i was wearing this every day and it was just constantly in my purse even though i didn't really need to do touch-ups i only touched up when i ate something that like got everywhere <laughs> But this is a good size mini. I love the shade and I was really sad when I realized that I had used it up and it was pretty much dry and I couldn't use it anymore. On to the hair care product and I used this up. I've actually had this, so funny story. This is the Diva Curl Styling Cream. I originally bought this almost a year before I went curly. Now, I don't know how this happened. I think it might have been gifted to me. I don't know if I bought it. But I had this before I decided to go curly girl and this is just what I would put in my hair whenever I didn't blow dry and straighten it, which wasn't that often. So this lasted me a while. Like I said, I had this about a year before I actually went curly. So it's just it was like in my little linen closet. I didn't really touch it that often. Once I went curly, I pulled this back out and was experimenting with different gels, with different um, styling creams. Nothing really worked well for my hair until... I combined this with the Diva Curl Archangel Gel. Both of those together give me the best curls. They're bouncy, they're thick, they're luscious, they're amazing. I just recently ran out of this after having it for a while. Now I've been curly girl for just about seven months now and I was using this fairly often for the last couple of months and I just ran out. And I noticed. I tried using other styling creams. I tried using just gel. I have not had a good hair day since I've ran out of this. And I am very upset. <laughs> like this looks 
this is the best that I could get it to look and it looked so much better with this cream. So I know they also carry this at the CVS by my job, so I need to run and do a CVS run and get my styling cream and get my white mixer and just refill, because <laughs> these are things that I, I need at this point, because... Mm. Mm. That being said, if anyone else knows of a good alternative to the styling cream, it's a little bit expensive, but I'm willing to pay for it because this did last me so long. A long time. So I'm willing to put the money down for it, but if you know of a better, cheaper alternative, please let me know because I've been trying out other products and my hair has just been like throwing a hissy fit. Like, it doesn't like anything else but this girl, the styling cream. Whew. So those are all the products that I have recently accidentally either hit pan on or panned completely. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope if you liked this, you'll give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what is the last product that you like accidentally finished. Thank you for watching again and I cannot wait to see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.